Hey, what's up guys? It's Correcty Fox of Foxyard, and today I'm here with and we're OG, and he actually commissioned this, which is an American highway system design. Now, I have a lot of different designs here because in real life, there are many varieties of highways, and let's just go through them. I will also be showing you how to make, you know, the lamps like that. Uh, shout out to Laffy, helped come up with this one. We also have the highway signs, which look like this. Really cool. You can put in whatever signage you want. And there's even some more signage like this one, if you just want a smaller one or the one on the side of the road. And we also got like these uh, furniture, like these emergency telephone. Um, they're actually solar paneled on the side of the highway. So you can use that in emergencies. And right over here is like a speed limit sign right there and this one's also like a different color so like the middle part is light gray and the outer parts are like gray and this one also has like a u-turn for i guess emergency vehicles and this says basically a sign says no u-turn so just for emergencies they could just turn around here uh or else you have to go around the whole way which may take a while and then what are the other ones well the basically the difference between these are basically the lanes. So this one only has like two lanes. Well, this is like a side shoulder, which you can pull off to the side of the road, or you can have like exit ramps and stuff like that. Uh, we are not going to do that in this tutorial. We're just showing you the basic highway design. Well, this one has more lanes. And of course, if you want to customize this even more, you can uh, whatever design you want to in real life, but you know, it's just like a base model you can use. And by the way, if you're wondering what these buttons are in the road, there are like these reflective markers um, in it. I know there is something in California, it's like a white dot, but we're not making that. This one is sort of based on like New York and New Jersey, since that is the area that I'm most familiar with. This one also is different because it has these things on the side. They're actually rumble strips, and I just made it out of stone and andesite just to have it on the side of the road. Uh, not all highways have it, but it's kind of frequent, so you could add that if you wanted to. Uh, but it does <laughs> leave a big hole. That's the only issue I have with it. But for this type of highway, I think it's fine. And the side of the road, it can also have these little barriers right over here. And if you're wondering about the sign, like if you want to make this bar like wider, you can. You could just extend it. You see like there's these V-shapes, so you just duplicate that if you want to cover up the whole highway, because they do come in different dimensions and also the highway signs they also have these lamps over here a little bit of scaffolding down underneath all these things are like the exits so this highway here is 39 blocks wide and if you're wondering how wide the lane is it is four blocks wide and the outer edge it can actually vary you know so this one's actually three blocks wide well, this one's four blocks wide, so they can change. And the highway stripes are gonna be five blocks long and the gap between are 13 blocks long. And you see these buttons, they do every other space. So right here, it exists. Here, there's nothing. Here, it exists, you know, every other one. You can also add in a fake glow underneath like any light, it doesn't matter. It could be like this one, it's not emitting light because we actually hid in it with a sea lantern down underneath. So yeah, it could be a great addition if you're making a Minecraft city, something realistic, and you need some highways on your map. Uh, definitely you can build this, and you can also use my other road vehicle tutorials, like the Walmart uh, semi-trailer truck that I just released. You can add that, it just fits in fine, or you can add in cars. I have many automobile tutorials. And thanks a lot to Anware for commissioning this build, making this video possible. If you guys are interested in commissioning uh, some realistic builds could be like highway related stuff or city related things. So just check out the link in the description and yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to start this tutorial by building this one and then we can make the add on. So well, let's take out a uh, gray concrete powder, yellow concrete, smooth cord stairs, and then an end side stairs, smooth stone slab, light gray um, carpet, a stone button and I guess grass for the side of the road. All right, so pretend you're in the area, you're gonna make the road right here. So we're gonna take out yellow concrete and then we'll add in a gray concrete powder on the side. Oh yeah, we also need an andesite wall and then we're gonna place that in the middle right here. And then we're gonna add in, so this is gonna be four blocks wide of gray concrete powder, skip block, another four. Skip a block, another four. Just like that. 
And then we'll add in um, smooth quartz stairs. It's going to be facing inwards like that in these gaps. I also add one on the outer edge just like that. Then we're going to add in three gray concrete powders. Then we're going to add in grass to the side of it. I'm going to make it five blocks wide. Four or five like that. Alright, so this is the first section and we're basically going to make this line so it's five blocks long. So let's do that. Just like that. So the one after it, change it so we don't have the stripe here. So it's going to be that yellow concrete and then the gray concrete. Concrete powder all the way across of this. Uh, but this outer edge, we're going to keep that smooth quartz stairs. And then gray concrete and then our grass. And then our andesite wall right here. And this section, uh, we are going to make it so it is. We're going to make it so it is 13 blocks long like that. All right. And then the middle of this, we're to count. Oh, you don't even have to count. You could just like measure out what's the middle. <laughs> but it's going to be basically the seventh block. So whatever the middle is, we're to add stone bun right there and line it up with the stripes. All right. So next up, we need to make the barrier on the side. So that's going to start off with the upside down um, andesite stairs and then two smooth stone slabs and then light gray carpet on top. And we're going to keep on repeating that pattern. It goes all the way across like that. All right, so this is one segment of it. And we're just going to do the same thing yet again. Just continue this pattern so it goes back to whatever this starts off with. So let's do that, let's say three more times like that. So we've done it three more times and we're going to delete the stone button for every other one just like that. So that it looks like this. And now we're to copy everything we did on this side and build the other half. All right, so once you've built the other half, it looks like this. Now, of course, if you're building the highway and you want to have sometimes there's like a divide between the two sides, you can have some spacing, you can make it like this type of highway. And now let's build the street lights. So I have two main designs here. One of them's like kind of designed mainly by Laffy, this one right here. And then we have this taller, but simple and easy to make version. And you can also make this into a double one, which you'll put in the middle if you want to. Uh, now the differences between them is like this one, it has end rods. So if you put in like night mode, kind of glows in the dark and you can make it sort of like uh, illuminate. Um, but you can also add in a fake glow underneath like any light, it doesn't matter. It could be like this one, it's not emitting light, but it's still emitting light down below because we actually hid in it with a sea lantern. And these two lights, I have different spacing for them. So if you want the simple but taller one, uh, that's going to have a hundred blocks of space between each light. While this one, I made it so it has 39 blocks of space between the light. But again, it, you, it's Minecraft, you could just customize it, whatever looks good for you. I just based it what they did in real life. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to our highway and I'll show you how to add it. So you're just gonna basically go on the outside of this barrier. I'm gonna add in a smooth stone block, go parallel to that and add in a smooth stone block onto the other side. Now I'm going to show you how to make both designs. First, a simple one, which is just take an anisite wall and we're going to make it 17 blocks tall. Then at the top, we're going to add an iron trap door and then two snow layers tall. Looks like that, nice and simple. So what about the other one? It's going to be an anisite wall, but this time it's going to be 14 blocks tall like this. And then we're going to add in an end rod to the side of it, end rod underneath it. And then a birch trap door here, we're gonna close that up. Another birch trap door here, close that up. And then we'll go dangling up. And then we'll go on top, we'll add in a birch fence gate. And then our iron trap door. And then our snow layer, two layers tall. Now to make it emit light down below, we're just gonna basically go down below here. In the ground level, just punch in a hole and add in a C lantern cover that up with a gray carpet or whatever the road surface is so you can see it emits a little light here all right so now i'm going to show you how to build the other sign so let's start with the smaller ones i don't think i'm going to have to build this but it's basically like three chains and then a two by two of diorite walls like that and i debug stick you know the blackstone button if you can't do that just make it regular without the buttons that's going to be the speed limit sign now for the next sign this is just a sign maybe you can use it it's like exit or whatever you want to or just random 
It's just going to be three end rods tall and then a two by two of this is going to be oxidized copper and then add some birch buttons on top. And then the next one, this is going to be the emergency telephone line that's on the side of the road. So you see the bottom is going to be smooth stone block, then birch fence, a chain, and then anisite wall, and then nether brick wall, and then three blocks tall birch fence, daylight detector, make it blue, and then add in a lever down underneath. So it kind of looks like it's on a diagonal to that. And then I added this box is probably like some kind of a power supply or control panel for that. And that's just going to be a uh, black terracotta and then a dark oak a slab and down underneath I made it like a mixture of like stone and andesite just to make it, you know, look developed. And then for this one where it does like this emergency change, um, basically I had it so like the shoulder, it kind of like forms into that and the angle for this is going to be three here and then two, and then one and this is going to be five, I believe. And the middle part's going to be five. Also added some grass just to add it a little more. Same thing on the other side, basically. And I had it, so we have this uh, sign. This is basically in real life, uh, no U-turn, because it is only for emergencies. And it's going to have a gap of 10 blocks away from that road. And it's going to be two of these acacia fence. And then you can add in a birch trap door on top. I use iron trap door because I can use the debug stick. Also added in like this um, oak sign to the side of like the barrier just to make it, you know, the hazard black and white thing. Uh, just like that. And we just made a loop around. And this also uses a different color. All right, so now let's go on to the more advanced highway uh, sign. So basically what I did for this is I took out a smooth stone out of the inside the ground, just added like right on side of this barrier. And then we'll add in andesite wall that's going to be 12 blocks tall and then an andesite block andesite wall and then andesite block and then um, andesite slabs on the outer side of this then on the inside we're going to add in a birch fence and then end rod birch fence end rod birch fence end rod birch fence end rod birch fence and then underneath all of these birch fences going to be this um, andesite stairs just facing towards this part and then andesite slabs for the rest. I believe there's not really much difference there. So after we're done with that, you're gonna basically uh, make this highway sign. That's gonna be our oxidized copper. You know, it's five blocks wide right at the edge and three blocks tall. Underneath, there's going to be this oxidized cut copper slab four blocks wide and then we'll add in birch buttons just like this for, you know, the letters. And now for the lights down underneath, uh, that's going to be these uh, two end rods here spaced apart uh, Sort of the middle of the sign and then I had a lever here But you probably can't add that so you can skip that part and then we'll add in two um, End rods like this and a skeleton skull at the edge of it and then underneath this slab We'll add an iron trap door another one here and then another four over here And then added two pillars of these end rods, you know four blocks tall like that just for some extra scaffolding and that's pretty much it for this um, highway sign design. Now for the big boy, uh, this one's going to be a little more complicated. So what I had this do is basically have one section. It connects with the center um, divider of this highway. So you can see the other side. If you do it the other way, it's like always in the middle here. And it could stick a little bit outside the barrier depending on how long this is. So basically for this one right here, we're just going to add one in the middle of the highway. And I guess above this a barrier here, there's going to be this andesite wall and we're going to make it so it's 14 blocks on top of the existing wall. And then there's going to be this pattern um, underneath. So that's basically going to be at the bottom two of these andesite stairs facing towards each other, an andesite slab here and then andesite slab down up, upside down stairs, right side upstairs, slab, two slabs, upside down stairs, right side upstairs, two slabs. Upside down stairs, right side upstairs, and then two slabs like that. Then we uh, reach this section. It's going to be iron trap doors, iron top, and then another pair of iron trap doors. It's going to be at, right at the top layer of this, I believe. Yeah, two blocks wide. All right, so next we're going to take out an andesite stairs. We'll add one here. And then andesite slab at the top part, and then end rod underneath. So I'm going to add in two andesite slabs here, andesite block three andesite slabs, andesite block, three more andesite slabs, andesite block, 
and this is going to be the midway point where it kind of does the other thing the other way around and uh, then we'll add in inside slabs going across the top row just like that and then we're going to add in some anisite slabs so it's kind of making these uh, v shapes so let's see right here it's like a v shape just go daily in and out trying to connect this together making a lattice shape like that so you can see there's kind of like two triangles here and then a half triangle and this is going to help determine how long this is uh, so you always want to end up with either a full triangle or half a triangle that's pretty much the pattern they have in real life they vary a lot uh, so this one I just made it the other way that's going to be our midway point now for the other side of this scaffolding they're actually going to do an inverse of this uh, so let's just add in anisite slabs going all the way across the top part because that part does not change um, and then we'll add in an anisite stairs right here and right underneath and then we'll add in some anisite slabs going all the way across that doesn't change either but what does change is the triangles get inverted so instead of going at the top we're going to go at the bottom and then we're going to go up diagonally up like that and then we're going to um, skip three add one here skip one three add one there so kind of like inverse whatever that is at the middle try to make those V shapes like this like that now since this is actually like a midway point we're actually going to change these blocks here into stairs so this one is actually going to be interstate stairs facing towards that way the upside down facing the other way so it makes like this S shape well on the other side it does, just does it the other way so change it up just like this and then the middle part is going to be iron trap doors like this just goes all the way across like that and then right and then right where we have these end rods there's going to be iron trap doors as well going across like that all right next up we're going to go um kind of arbitrary so there's going to be two iron trap doors like this skip two blocks then two skip two then two and then the other side just fill in the gap two skip two two so it's like in and out in and out well the one on the bottom is just the inverse of that so just do it the other way around so you can see this is how lattice works i guess in engineering just balancing out the load because this side is going to be different from that side so now it's all different and now we're going to build the other side of it so let's just copy everything we did here and we're going to get to use this thing as a midpoint so that won't be copied just build it like that and if you're like oh i don't have world edit well you're supposed to just build it by hand just copying it from eye to eye so i just did it again right here and then this part at the bottom is just going to be uh, anisite walls like that going straight down and then smooth stone as supports for the foundation like that inside the ground and you can see it's on the outside of the highway all right so cool that's like the main scaffolding i think that's like the hardest part so now we need to add in some signs so i have some random signs here that you can use and of course you can customize it whatever signage you want because maybe for your actual highway you have like different places you want to go so you're like go to blah blah city or this exit here you know stuff, stuff like that and like which lane is the exit this is like what the yellow is actually telling you so if you actually want to replicate this sign like exactly how i did it you know this is going to be the midpoint so i basically went over here skipped three blocks and then i added oxidized cut copper and this i made it so it is seven blocks wide and four blocks tall so make that and then on top is going to be our cut um, oxidized copper slab so four there and then two more oxidized copper and then our cut copper oxidized stairs right there then added some birch buttons like this and then it's going to be white concrete and a black stone button it's going to say like a root number or whatever and then down underneath for the lights i added like basically um, iron bars on the edges and then skip a block iron bars here in the middle spaced apart and then chains on the outer spaces that added two end rods and a skull and skull sticking out like that while for the other sign i basically light, lined it up with this part to skip a block of space then three of these cut oxidized coppers and the two oxidized coppers and then a two by five of oxidized copper um, birch buns throughout and then a row of five 
yellow concretes and then blackstone buttons two on each side spaced apart and down underneath there's going to be three of these iron bars spaced apart chains in the middle and then two end rods and then a skeleton skull for the lighting and that is should be uh, basically it on how to make you know the highway sign designs it's going to be definitely a great addition to have in your minecraft city and uh, yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video thanks again to uh and we're og for commissioning this build and making this video possible if you guys are interested in commissioning stuff like this check out the link in the description anyways i'll see you guys in the next one bye